dollars in We decided to compile this report chronologically. So first on the list is 60-year-old Baxter Ward, who anchored Channel 7's news until late 1968. Baxter just lost a hard-fought election battle for a third term on the Board of Supervisors. Bill Bonds then joined Eyewitness News, and he stayed with us for about three years. Now he's part of the top-rated action news team on WXYZ-TV in Detroit, a station also owned by the American Broadcasting Company. I talked with Bill inside his cluttered office just off the newsroom and asked him about his tenure here in Los Angeles. You know, when we started, Baxter Ward had done, a, I think, a very, very interesting uh, job for KABC. And in a very real sense, Baxter was sort of a one-man show, one-man news department. It was very exciting, it was very challenging, it was very difficult. Uh, trying to evolve from a one-man operation, really, into a major market news operation. And as, given the size of Los Angeles and its myriad problems and stories, is no easy task. Uh, people get bruised, there are labor pains and stretch marks involved, uh, there are some scars. Uh, but that's what growth is. Well, For a short time during 1969, sportscaster Stu Nahan was a co-anchor on the news with Bill Bonds. Now Stu is Channel 4's director of sports. Joseph Benty also anchored Eyewitness News in the early 1970s, but left to join Channel 2's news team. He was released from his contract two years ago and vowed never again to work as an anchorman on a commercial news program. Benty now makes occasional appearances on Channel 28. John Schubeck was also a key part of Channel 7's news for several years before he moved over to KNBC as co-anchor of their 11 p.m. broadcast. He now also shares the anchor chores on the station's 6 o'clock news show. Now, the 4.30 edition of News Center 5. Good afternoon, I'm Chuck Henry. And I'm Linda Yu. Chuck Henry well, was an Reagan, eyewitness news Angeles fixture for some seven years, first on our weekend news, then as co-anchor of the 5 p.m. eyewitness news. Today, Chuck works for the NBC problems. station in Chicago, co-anchoring their Mr. early Carter broadcast with a former eyewitness news United field States reporter, Linda Yu. Good evening, I'm John Pruitt. And I'm Dave Michaels. Dave Michaels was the other half of the 5 o'clock news team with Chuck Henry for several years. Dave now handles the 11 p.m. broadcast for Atlanta's WXIA Action News. Consumer fraud units here in Ohio used to get hundreds and hundreds of complaints Judd about Hamrick used car joined dealers turning back the in 1975 and stayed for about two Remember years. Today he's highly successful at Channel 8 in Cleveland, the and he told me he'd never return here to work. I don't know that I could ever gear myself uh, to become excited about uh, working out there uh, and that it does take that it takes a desire to really want to be in that market really communicate in that market really tell the people the news in that market that has to come across on the air i'm very comfortable here cleveland is uh, in spite of the reputation that it has it's a very good city um, cleveland proper has many, many serious problems, as all Great Lakes or Northeastern uh, cities have, uh, especially in these economic times. But the suburbs of Cleveland are super places to live. Judd's brother John also came to Los Angeles and co-anchored the 6 and 11 o'clock broadcast. Today, John co-anchors the news on NBC's New York City station. Diana Lewis is another familiar face to Eyewitness News viewers. She now shares the news studio in Detroit with Bill Bonds. I asked her about how Detroit differs from Southern California. People are different uh, because there is so much more of the television and showbiz in Los Angeles. The what's expected of a news person is not as grave as what's expected of a news person here in Detroit. Los Angeles is home to me. Once I moved from Philadelphia, I stayed in Los Angeles. I made all oh, so many friends personally. I love it. It's my climate. It's my atmosphere. I love Los Angeles. And yes, I do hope one day to return. Another Eyewitness News alumnus serving the Detroit viewers is Bob White, who was assistant news director here until landing the job of news director at WXYZ earlier this year. And finally, ago, the, the most recent departure was by Harold Green, who returned to San Diego's Channel 10 earlier this again. year. Harold began his on-air career at Eyewitness News about 10 years ago, and That's then moved to San Diego for his first job Captain as an anchorman. The rest of the news team take care of one another. We'll look for you again tomorrow.